Hello and welcome to this uh, design tutorial here. Uh, today we'll be designing in Lunacy. And Lunacy, if you're not familiar, is a, a vector design tool that has uh, loads of built-in assets that are just a game changer in the design process. Um, today we'll be covering uh, designing a website landing page in Without further ado, we'll jump right into things and, and uh, I'll show you a lot of those uh, those cool features that Lunacy offers. Uh, so st just to start us off, I've, I have a new page here. It's just untitled, but we can name it here. And uh, we'll name it a coffee shop landing page. And we'll be designing a, a coffee shop page. So I'll show you uh, just a little sneak peek here of what we will be designing. And uh, again, as I mentioned, all, all designed uh, inside of uh, Lunacy. And uh, here, so yeah, just kind of scrolling up and down, showing you what we'll be creating. And um, yeah, so let's, uh, let's get started here. The first thing you want to do is add an artboard. So the artboard basically serves as the canvas for the designing. So I can do this by adding, uh, rather selecting the artboard tool up here on the top left, or I can also use the keyboard short shortcut of A. So once I have this tool selected, I can manually uh, create the size of my artboard, or I'm actually going to undo this, and I'm going to use one of the pre-programmed templates here in the inspector panel on the right. I'm going to choose the full HD, and this is uh, basically representing a full HD screen that somebody would be viewing our website on. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is uh, change the size, or rather the height of our, uh, our frame here uh, to allow for scrolling and designing basically you know, a whole uh, landing page, a, a whole web page here. So um, the great thing is I can actually, I don't have to do any math. I can just uh, add the asterisk after 1080 here and uh, multiply it by four. It does all the math for me, and uh, again, I could do this manually, uh, but I, I trust the, the math of the computer much more than my own. So, um, Moving on here, we have our artboard set up, and uh, we're going to add a little bit of color, uh, just a little neutral gray to uh, serve as the background of our website. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is add guides to our website. So the guides are very important. Um, to you know for alignment and uh, specifically in this case we're going to use it them uh, to help split up our website so uh, we're gonna have four different sections to our website here and uh, to make sure they're equal I'm actually going to add in a rectangle so I can choose the rectangle tool here on the left and the toolbar or I can also use the keyboard shortcut of R the once I have the rectangle added in um, as you can see, as I move it around, actually, it's, it will snap to the edges of the canvas. Uh, this is a really helpful tool, another helpful tool for, uh, for alignment, uh, aligning objects within the canvas. Uh, it also snaps to the middle, as you saw, uh, of the shape and of the canvas, uh, so uh, the artboard rather. So uh, the next thing I'm going to do is set the, if you remember when we added the artboard, uh, it, the height was 1080. So we are going to set this rectangle to a height of 1080, again representing the, the height of the full HD screen. Then I'm going to go up here to the ruler on the top, and I'm going to click and drag out a guide. And now this will snap right to the bottom of my rectangle very nicely. And now I have one section. Uh, and to create my second section, I'm going to do the same thing. So I'm going to duplicate this, right click and duplicate this uh, rectangle here. And I'm going to drag it down so that the top snaps to my first guide. And then I'm going to drag down another guide to uh, the bottom of my rectangle here. And again, repeat the process. This time I'm going to uh, hold down Alt uh, click and drag my shape. This duplicates it and moves it at the same time. And then I will add our third guideline. So now we have uh, four equal sections uh, of our website. I can delete these two. I don't need these anymore. And now we're going to add some vertical guides. And to do this, I'm just going to use this rectangle and I'm going to set the width to 1280, which is the standard width of a just a standard HD screen. And uh, same as the horizontal guidelines, I'm just going to pull these out of the ruler and snap them to the sides of the rectangle. 
So perfect, now we have some guides. Um, actually, last thing I'm going to add is just a center guide. Um, this will, uh, this is just helpful if just to understand where the direct center of my page is. So uh, just something I prefer to, to use. And now the first, the next thing we're going to do is add some context. So uh, we are working on a coffee shop landing page, so we might as well add some coffee. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is uh, come over here on the left hand side. Uh, all of these tools here we are going to cover and they are all incredibly important and one of the things that make Lunacy such a powerful tool. Uh, the photos here is what I'm going to go into first. Uh, now, as you can see, a lot of pictures of people here. Uh, there are tens of thousands of photos that you have free access to uh, as a user of Lunacy. Um, you can also limit, you know, filter things down uh, to models, objects, collages, backgrounds, as you can see here. Uh, we're going to go into objects and objects allows us to uh, see actually images, so uh, back where the background is taken out. So um, as you can see here, they're just PNG images uh, that I can pull in and not have to worry about uh, backgrounds or anything. So uh, again, we're working on a coffee shop landing page. I'm going to type in coffee here and see what we can find. Uh, you can see some cups of coffee, some, uh, some coffee presses. Oh, I like this one. This is the, some coffee beans. So we're going to click this and place it into our uh, artboard. I'm just going to resize this to be uh, about 500 uh, pixels or so. And uh, we're just going to snap this in here to our uh, right side vertical guide. Uh, and that's a pretty good place to start. So um, now what we're going to do is uh, add in a bit of a, a bit of a blend uh, to kind of separate the top section from the bottom section. And um, this was kind of serve as a, kind of the background, some background uh, padding of the of the website. So um, we're going to just pull in a rectangle, and we're going to make this the full size of the second section. And uh, what we're going to do is actually uh, create a, a little uh, half circle. Uh, so this is uh, where the center guide is really important uh, for, for in, my, in my in my opinion here. And we are going to uh, actually hit enter uh, while we've selected our rectangle. And this will bring us into the vector editing mode, where as you can see, each of the corners has a point. Uh, all those points can move, uh, or I can click and add a point of my own. Um, so this one I've clicked in and I can move it uh, along the edge of the rectangle to that center point. Uh, and then I can move it around. So this this is uh, kind of the the focal point of graphic design and we won't get we won't get too complex into it, but uh, this is uh, again a really powerful tool, something that you can do within Lunacy. So the next thing we're going to do is just uh, to create that half circle. In fact, we're going to uh, come up here and we're going to select the mirrored option. Uh, and this will allow us to uh, be able to pull these and, and basically uh, stretch the path uh, of our of our vector here, of our shape. So uh, again, a really powerful tool that we can do just within Lunacy uh, to make some custom shapes of our own and whatnot. So uh, we have this nice shape here. Uh, it'll work for it has a nice uh, blend of sections, and we're going to make it, we're going to pretty it up a bit. So uh, let's add a gradient. So we'll add a we'll pick the linear gradient fill here, and uh, I'm just going to reposition these so we get a nice uh, north and south gradient here. I'm going to select the top uh, of the gradient, and I'm just going to pick this to be the same color as our uh, the, the back of our, our, our uh, web page here, our background, so this blends nicely. And then the bottom color, I'm going to choose uh, kind of a little, I don't know, like a mahogany color or something that eh, goes nicely with our, with our coffee bean color there. So this one should work here, this one's nice. And uh, great, cool. So we have a nice little gradient here to uh, to split our sections. Now we're also going to use this uh, this shape on the bottom of our page too. So I'm going to again Alt and click and drag uh, to duplicate this and bring our shape down to the bottom of our web page. I'm going to flip this vertically so uh, we can use the half circle uh, facing back into the middle of our page. 
and uh, then I but obviously I don't want it to be too close I just kind of want this to be the bottom I'm thinking it can be the footer footer of our the kind of the background of the footer of our page so uh, if I were to just drag this down here uh, you can see that I actually lose kind of the the radius that the curve of our shape so uh, what I'm actually going to do is go back into that vector editing mode so uh, I can do that by double clicking or on the shape or uh, clicking enter and then I'm going to select these uh, three vector points and just drag them down. So this allows me to keep the, the radius of our shape and it looks very nice. I'm just gonna drag down a bit more kind of out of frame so that I get more of that, uh, that kind of mahogany reddish um, than the white. So that looks pretty good, great. Uh, now we can lock this frame, actually, uh, we'll lock the shape, rather, um, this uh, bottom shape and now the top shapes. Uh, and this basically just kind of, uh, you know, locks them in, cements them into the, the background and uh, allow that way we can't um, drag them around or we don't lose them. Uh, and you can see on the objects side here where you look at the layers that we can uh, unlock this if we need to also. And so now we are going to add a logo next, uh, the logo for the page. And to do that, I'm just going to come over here to the icons library because I don't really have any ideas, but um, we have over 140,000 different icons to choose from here. So I am sure we can find something. Um, actually, I'll, I'll just type in animals. Uh, it's always a good, good place to start for a company logo. So uh, we'll see what we can find. I kind of like this panda here, so uh, we'll roll with that. Um, I, like, I like this one. So we'll grab that, we'll place it in our canvas, and uh, I figure I figure a panda has dark circles around its eyes, kind of like uh, kind of like I do when I need coffee. So that's uh, a it's a fitting fitting uh, description anyway. Uh, we're first going to add a color here to the, our panda, and we'll just pick a nice brown color uh, like we like the beans here. And so, uh, so this brown here should work. Uh, great, so that'll end up kind of being our, uh, our theme color of the page for all of our text and whatnot. So uh, next I will add the company, uh, the company name. And so just the, the coffee shop rather. And uh, there we go, coffee shop. And uh, perfect, so now I just uh, want to find the right font. And so I identified uh, a font called Poppins earlier, so I'm just going to search here and find that. And uh, there we go. Great, so uh, just uh, I'll take a quick minute here just to mention a couple thing, cool things about editing text in Lunacy. Uh, and as you can see, actually, I so I, I didn't select the whole text, the whole word when I when I changed the the font. Uh, I only have to have my cursor within the word for to to change the font, and, and it changes the whole word. So that's really helpful. Uh, another great thing, which is very unique to Lunacy, is uh, this this uh, suggestions toolbar uh, or suggestions panel rather, and uh, I can enable that by and disable that by um, by pressing Alt M, and it brings it up, or I can I can hide it. But it's a really really unique and really really powerful tool uh, that can be used uh, to edit font on the fly really quickly as you move through your document. So uh, just right here now I can change the font style, I can make it uh, bold, and then I can change the font size as well. Um, and as I move through the document, uh, the suggestions panel it basically just you know, makes styles and suggestion uh, style suggestions based on um, the work that I've done in the past and uh, within this canvas and um, so this style that I just selected is is actually from the uh, the trial <laughs> the trial document that I did before before the tutorial so uh, so I'm just going to select this real quick and it's basically just the the 24 font size uh, with the bold um, and then our, our brown color there so and as I move through the document um, I will continue to 
to move through my canvas this tutorial I will continue to use this suggestions panel so you will get an idea of, of just how helpful it can be so uh, I have my uh, font my company logo here and I'm just going to make sure they're centered so up here in the top right I have my uh, alignment buttons and I can align this these two vertically after I've selected them both and uh, then I'm just going to group them together so I can do control G uh, or I can also use the group tool up in the toolbar on the top. And uh, next we're going to add a navigation. So uh, I'll just uh, type in a few, just uh, you know, a few things here. So we have home, we have products and uh, benefits, contacts, and uh, I'm just making sure these are all evenly spaced and, and then we have sign up or sign in also. Uh, great, so now I will uh, again move back to my suggestions panel here to, uh, to edit the, uh, the text style. So I'm actually going, just to going to choose the coffee shop text style that I used earlier and that will make sure I have the, the same font uh, and uh, also the the same color so and then I can just come down and uh, make to remove the bold and also make it uh, the 18 uh, font size and then I can also just uh, I'm just going to choose select sign in uh, just highlight sign in and I'm going to underline that so I, I used control U but you can also use the the suggestion panel also so moving over here, we will add our first chunk of text and uh, first we're just going to add a title. So I will enable the text tool and uh, I'm just first in my suggestion panel going to grab the style from the coffee shop above, type in coffee is our passion and I actually just want to make this a bit bigger so we'll go to 36 and uh, as you can see the font and colors are the same as above thanks to the suggestion panel. And so everything's looking good. And I'm just going to kind of move this around a bit here and reposition it, that should be good. And now we'll add our description. So this time I'm going to add a text box and this will automatically populate the text and grab the text uh, style from above. So I'm just going to make it regular font, turn off bold and I'll make it a bit smaller too. And uh, then I can re-generate uh, the text by uh, generate text and then I can add a sh and then I can just do shift R and uh, it will continuously uh, I can keep hitting shift R and it will continuously regenerate the text so I'm just going to uh, resize the text box here try to f find a chunk of text that fits nicely and uh, maybe one more time yeah that one works cool uh, so we'll go with that and now we will add our call to action, our button here. So I'm just going to enable the rectangle tool and uh, then I will drag the button out and I'm going to select the rounded corners here in the suggestion panel at 10. And I'm going to choose the brown from the panda icon. And so we have some nice consistency here. And I'm actually just going to make the, uh, I'm just gonna make the, Oh, actually, we'll move this over here, and now I'm going to make the uh, the corners a bit more curved. So we come up to the inspector, and I'll go up to uh, about 50. 50 should do. And so now we have a nice uh, kind of circled off rectangle. And uh, I'm going to now use the text tool. I'm going to click after I've clicked inside the button, and I'll type in our uh, visit our store. And we'll just make this a white font, make it a bit smaller. And uh, perfect, great. So, and actually bold too, we'll bold that. And now I'm just gonna resize the button. Oh, that was the text. So if I click outside and then I click the button again because I clicked, um, I did click because I did the text um, while I had already selected the button, they, they, they work together as a group. So I can move the, the resize the button and the text will stay within it. The bounds of the button so that's a very very uh, sleek way a nice looking uh, first part of our page here so and uh, now we can move on to uh, to uh, section number two here now to get things started 
and uh, we are first going to add a title for our section. So uh, I'll add the text tool and I'll select the, the title style from above. And we will have this, uh, have this section be why our coffee is the best of the best. And uh, in this section, we're going to outline some uh, six of the benefits of our coffee shop's coffee. So uh, I'll start off with a subtitle. I'll select the style from the, uh, the coffee shop uh, logo above. And uh, we're, we'll type in benefit. And then we will add our description of our benefit and auto generates. We'll choose the, uh, the uh, text from above, textile from above again. Great. And uh, this one should work. And we'll just make sure everything adds up. Well, let's choose a smaller font. Perfect. And uh, great. So we're going to uh, just make this actually a bit a bit uh, thinner uh, width wise and we'll go 250 and uh, let's generate regenerate that text try to find something that balances a bit better uh, maybe generate one more time and that should do cool uh, I think that fits nicely uh, hit enter and there we go so we have our subtitle and our description and uh, now what we want to do is add an icon to go with our uh, our uh, benefit here. So I'm just going to type in uh, coffee and uh, grab a f grab. A, we'll grab six uh, six icons here. So uh, we've got this uh, little coffee pot. Uh, we've got a to go cup. A uh, little coffee maker. And let's see what else we have here. And uh, I like the colored ones. These are all very pretty. And uh, this. Uh, this croissant looks good. Yeah, let's go with the croissant and uh, cool. So one more So there uh, rather two more. So there's a bean and uh, Now let's try to find maybe a coffee cup or something uh, well, There's a nice pink one cool. So we have our six icons and you can see they're all here in their icon suggestion panel so all I have to do is uh, next uh, just uh, drag my icon down here. I'll uh, line it up with my text, and uh, I'm going to resize it to be a hundred. Perfect. Make sure all this uh, lines here aligned at the top. And uh, next thing I'm going to do is. Uh, come into my description text and I will be duplicating this so I want to come over here to uh, allow to make sure auto refresh is enabled and basically every time I duplicate the text as you can see it uh, refreshes and regenerates the text so I have uh, new clean text and it keeps me from rewriting a bunch of a bunch of uh, uh, copyright a bunch of text every, or every time so very helpful helpful little trick uh, so I'm going to select these three elements uh, hold down alt and drag to create uh, five more benefits so we'll have all of our six benefits and as I'm doing this you can see that they all kind of lock into place um, but just for the sake of showing you something later I'm actually going to pull a couple of these uh, out of alignment now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, change the icons for uh, the other five benefits here. So I can just uh, simply click the icon and switch them out very easily. And uh, really, you know, without, uh, without any problems, um, they're all the same width as the one that I had set earlier. And I now have six completely different looking icons. delete these uh, they were just used to to pull them into the suggestion panel and uh, now what I can do is I can come in and group all of these three elements uh, to help uh, reorganize them a bit so I'm just uh, selecting and control G G control G control G control G group group great so I have all six of these grouped and I can select all of them now and I'm going to come over here and I'm going to choose this smart distribute feature 
and it just says tidy up. So uh, just tid tidies them all up, distributes them equally, uh, horizontally and vertically, so that everything looks nice and pretty. And then I can realign them all by grabbing these little nodes and pulling them around. So it's really a e very easy way to uh, move some of the, your content around uh, a section without having to copy and paste and, and whatnot. So. Uh, I'm just gonna make this uh, one last uh, switch here, and uh, we're looking good. So uh, another, actually, I'll go back into selecting all of these. Uh, another really helpful tool is uh, being able to change the distance and the spacing the, of the columns and of the rows. So make sure these are all even and, and nicely spaced here, and uh, that looks good, perfect. And I'm just going to center this, and uh, awesome. So now. I'm going to go in and I'm going to use the text here um, as my alignment for, for all the text on the left alignment of all the text on my page. So uh, I'm going to make sure these are aligned to the left and they are. Um, so I know that all of the other uh, text is aligned since it was just duplicated. And I'm going to grab uh, from the ruler, I'm going to grab a guide and I'm just going to set it right up against the left edge of the text. Now I'm going to move up my page, back up my page, and just uh, use this guide as, uh, as I said, uh, to align the rest of my text and elements here. So we'll grab Coffee is Our Passion, we'll grab the logo, and as I actually, as I'm grabbing this, I'm noticing the, the logo is a bit big, so I'm just going to make this, make this, uh, we'll make this 30, 30 points, that's, that's better, 30 pixels, cool. So uh, we'll, again, as, as earlier, just going to vertically vertically align uh, align these two elements here and then I'm going to align it to the top of my navigation and uh, just for good measure use the button great so that looks all looks nice uh, definitely looks better with the smaller panda and I'll clean this up real quick and actually so uh, if you just click and drag uh, you'll see that it snaps into place but if you hold down option uh, it actually uh, un allows you, or rather not option, alt, <laughs> and it, uh, it allows you to uh, freeform uh, drag it without it snapping. So uh, there we have it. Uh, I'm just uh, drag this group down a little bit more, uh, make sure the spacing between section three and section one uh, are even, and uh, there we have it. Cool. So we have a nice look in section one, nice look, look in section two, and uh, we are uh, halfway through building our website. So uh, now we can move on to section three. So first I'll start off by uh, actually kind of adding an element to the, the section two, <laughs> but uh, just to grab pe people's attention and uh, send them down to section three, uh, I'm just going to add in a little expand arrow. So I'm back in the icons uh, library here and I found this arrow here that should work. Uh, so I'm just uh, placing it into the artboard and centering it, uh, make it a bit bigger, and we'll make sure the spacing is equal. Uh, perfect, all right, so that sends people down to the third section, and now to work on some of the graphic elements. So in the, so, so far I've showed you the icons library and the photos library, and now I'll show you the illustrations library. Uh, again, the potential here is just uh, infinite almost with with the amount of op um, options available and again all for free so um, I've typed in coffee here and we'll find a nice illustration that we like um, I like this one this one should work nicely um, I'm actually just going to uh, take out this tree so uh, to do that I've double clicked the image to enter the mask editing mode and uh, just basically crop in and uh, just select the uh, select the character here, the girl, and that should work nicely. So we'll make this a bit larger and uh, reposition it so that it kind of uh, lines up a little bit on the that uh, left guideline that I uh, used earlier. So the text will fit nicely on the right, and uh, just move this a bit more. And now we will add a title. And uh, so I've used the text tool and it uh, keeps the same uh, style that I used for the title earlier. And we'll set the title as Roasting Only the Finest Beans since uh, 1763. We've been doing this a while, so uh, here we are. <laughs> We're, uh, you know, 
240 years later or something. That's more than that. I'm not doing math. 260 years later, <laughs> we're, we're still here. And uh, great, so we have our title. Now this page is going to uh, just be basically a bulleted list of, of um, some information about the coffee shop. So uh, we'll start off with a little header or a heading. Um, and I'm actually going to show off the uh, another auto-generating uh, feature in Lunacy. And uh, so I come up here and I generate a header. And this uh, allows me to, um, you know, I, I'll use it again later. And um, but just again, it's a some another free tool that Lunacy has and uh, it just makes things much easier instead of having to uh, search the web and and find something find the right text or find the right photo whatever it is so uh, I'm just uh, resizing this here and this looks nice so now I um, will add a text box for all of the bulleted information Uh, make sure that it's uh, the regular font that I like. Here we go. Make it 18. Looks nice. And uh, again, and now I will just uh, kind of generate text. So this will fill the box here that I've made. And uh, I will then go into the advanced typography and select bulleted list. And this just adds a bullet um, for every uh, line break. And I'll zoom in here so I can edit the text a bit more. Um, first, I'll just kind of uh, cut out uh, the, um, or I'll add a, add a few line breaks and then I'll cut out the text here on the bottom. It just isn't necessary. And uh, now I'll just make a few things pop. Uh, so I'll, I'm going to bold a few things here uh, using the suggestions panel is very easy. Uh, I can also use uh, the short keyboard shortcut Control B if necessary. Um, but I, you know, the as I've mentioned before, the suggestion panel makes things very easy. So I'm going to bold a few more things here, and now I'm going to uh, italicize a few things. Uh, again, just drawing people's attention to um, some some of the random phrases here. And uh, again, I can italicize using the suggestions panel um, or also the control I uh, keyboard shortcuts. So uh, there's our text and for section three, that looks looking very good. And the final piece of the puzzle here is to add a call to action. So I'm going to grab the button from section one and I will uh, just simply copy and paste it uh, down here to the third section. And uh, once I have this pasted in uh, down here underneath my, uh, once I have them have it dragged down underneath my text, I will just stretch it, make it the length of my, uh, my paragraph here, my body. And, uh, and that pretty much sums it up for section three. And it's looking good. We get section one, section two all coming together, and uh, we will move on to section four, our final section next. And actually, first, before we do that, I'm just going to uh, move this here. I, I changed my mind and I decided I, I want the, the coffee steam to to uh, line up on the left there. So so anyway, let's uh, let's start with our title. And we'll move this down here and uh, just rename that to uh, what our customers say. Uh, this uh, this section will be all about our, our customers and their testimonials and everything. So uh, make sure that's centered. And what I'm going to do is actually create a card. And the card will have their uh, the customer's image, uh, their name, and uh, their thoughts about, the, about our coffee shop. Uh, so we'll start off by making the card. Uh, using the rectangle tool here and great so we'll make it a bit smaller and uh, I kind of want a nice like almost rectangle or almost square uh, a little bit rectangular so that should be good we'll make some round rounded corners add a little shadow so it pops and uh, and use this this nice off-white that our suggestion panel recommended and so the next thing we will do is add the image of our customer so I'm going to grab the avatar tool and that's also the short keyboard shortcut Q and pop it in here make sure it's centered uh, make it a bit larger 
and uh, great. So uh, next we'll add the name of our customer. And as I mentioned earlier, the um, Lunacy has this really cool tool up here uh, where it helps you uh, generate text, auto-generate auto text of your own. And so here I'm putting in a full name so I don't have to come up with my own names. <laughs> um, maybe, maybe you prefer creating your own names. Um, I would rather not, uh, rather not think about it. And Lunacy allows me to, uh, to make up, uh, make up my own names, auto, auto generate names without having to put much thought into it. So it really cuts down on time. So I would highly recommend using that tool. Um, just adding a text box here for the, the customer's thoughts and making sure the text doesn't get cut off. Um, but there is more text there and uh, our, we want our customers to know they're heard. We want to see their words on our website. So uh, I'm going to add an arrow here and that will uh, basically symbolize that there is more, uh, there's more information to be seen. Uh, kind of an expand arrow, if you will. And, uh, as, and you'll see in um, I will create a card uh, later that shows the, the full card expanded, showing the whole quote. So uh, this will just be the an example of a card that is that is uh, not expanded. So you only see a brief uh, part of the of the customer's comment. So um, just kind of talking here real quick while I uh, tidy up a few things. Um, the plan is to use this card and uh, create a bit of a carousel to uh, showcase multiple of our customers' testimonials. And uh, to do this, I'm just going to duplicate the card with everything in it. So uh, when I'm duplicating, I want to make sure that uh, everything is on auto refresh. Uh, then as we used earlier, the text will uh, will change and it, it saves me from having to go in and, and uh, regenerate text or anything. So uh, I'm going to duplicate the page, the uh, card here and uh, set the distance, a distance that I like. And that looks uh, far enough away. So as you can see, the, the text did change. Um, I, I did forget to enable the auto refresh on the image, on the avatar, and that is possible, uh, which saves some time, but um, it's a very easy fix. So I'll, I'll go back in once this is, once we have this spaced out and fix that. So um, now I'm just going to come in and group everything now that I've uh, duplicated it, dupli duplicated all of the cards and uh, so groups them just so they come together and I can easily space them out. Uh, just add a bit more spacing. Uh, we'll make sure this card in the middle is centered on the page and now we'll go in and change the avatars. Uh, so we have different uh, different customers, customer images. So as you can see, there's just the big refresh uh, icon there and I can easily double click the image and uh, refresh. So no problem there. Now we have a nice, uh, nice variety of customers here along with their thoughts. And uh, as I mentioned earlier, we have uh, we have this expand arrow. So I'm going to use the center card as the as the card that is fully expanded, uh, showing the customer's full thoughts. And since I grouped this, I actually I just uh, pulled this down to to make the background <laughs> larger. But um, I grabbed the whole group. So uh, that's a that's a tricky thing to to remember with grouping. They're very helpful, but you have to make sure you uh, double click in and uh, choose the actual background layer uh, to make that larger and make that longer. So I've uh, gone and done that, no problem. Made the text a bit bigger and uh, there we have it. Now we have a nice little carousel of our customers. And to finish up our uh, final section here, we just have to add in the secondary navigation here on the bottom. And uh, that'll just be uh, essentially a bunch of links to navigate through, through the website. So I'm just going to uh, use the text tool to add some text. Uh, we're just going to fix up the style using the suggestions panel. And uh, then I'm going to use this, uh, this shortcut here of semicolon TH and that uh, just it calls for a uh, to, for auto generating a uh, category theme of, of text. So um, I have my auto refresh on. So every time I copy this, it changes. I'm going to select all four of these rows and just make 
uh, three more columns of uh, four rows and uh, great yeah so there we have it we have uh, our links for our navigation uh, I'm going to just select these all again and uh, tidy them up make sure they're uh, all equally evenly spaced um, that just centered them as well so I'm just going to come back in and uh, left align them and uh, there we have it so that's looking good um, just play around with the spacing a bit more I'm actually going to group these up um, just to uh, change the spacing in between each column uh, and this just yeah so this it just group group the individual all four of the rows um, in each column and uh, evenly distribute the rows uh, or rather the columns so they're uh, equidistant and that's looking good and I've grouped all of the columns together now uh, so that I can center the whole uh, navigation uh, the navigation uh, links there and everything and they're centered on the page and uh, that wraps it up uh, it's the final touch on our on our site here and it is all ready to go um, thanks for sticking with me it's it's been uh, it's been fun designing this. I've really enjoyed putting this together. And uh, but the great part is lunacy does not stop there. <laughs> uh, if I were designing this for a client, I would um, there typically I would probably send uh, this large file that they would have to download. And there can always be problems with with sending files. But uh, lunacy actually allows you to copy a URL so that a uh, client doesn't have to download any files and they can access it as long as they have inter internet access. And to do that, I just select everything. So uh, control A and then I um, press alt CC and you can see that URL is copied to my clipboard. Uh, so then I can just open up my uh, web browser here. And if I just open up the web browser, uh, this uh, I can op open up Google Chrome here and uh, just copy the URL that is on my, in my clipboard into the URL bar at the top. I uh, press enter and uh, there we have our design uh, that we worked so hard on here today. So, uh, really great way. Uh, like I said, Lunacy has some amazing tools within just within the software, but. Um, they stretch even beyond uh, to sharing your designs with uh, the, you know, you can use this in a portfolio or, uh, or obviously with, uh, with clients as well. And uh, finally, just to, we'll move on, just do a quick wrap up here of everything we learned today. I know we covered a lot. Uh, just to go over a few of my, my favorite features within, within Lunacy, uh, I definitely have to highlight the, uh, all the libraries over here on the left, the, the icons library, photos library, illustrations library, uh, really cuts down on the amount of time that, um, that you can spend uh, searching online for the perfect vector, the perfect, uh, the perfect photo, the perfect everything. Um, this really just uh, cuts down all of, a lot of time. Uh, the other thing is, is the ease of editing text in Lunacy. Uh, I talked a lot about the suggestions panel. Uh, really cutting down on the amount of time that it takes to uh, to find the right style and um, it also helps you know keep consistency throughout the document um, by updating as you as you make changes to the, your styles uh, another final thing actually that I I didn't really touch on um, but can be very helpful as well is uh, under here over here under objects uh, this this is where you can view all of the layers within your within your design and uh, you can typically get around pretty well just by clicking through and cl clicking elements but if you ever really need to uh, break things down or check out a you know break into a group uh, a bit more uh, this is where you can do that so uh, that pretty much sums up everything that uh, that we're going over today in uh, here today in lunacy and thanks for sticking around and uh, watching the tutorial. Uh, keep creating, keep designing, and uh, keep discovering all that Lunacy has to offer. Uh, and uh, I look forward to seeing you on our next uh, tutorial.